obviously his father, uh, President of the United States, for two terms. And, you know, Patty Davis, uh, your stepsister, um, really let your father have it. How much, how much problem did that cause within the Reagan family? Well, it didn't cause that many problems within the Reagan family, Bill. Um, it, was, uh, it was hurtful to my father. It was hurtful, of course, to Nancy. Uh, and I think ultimately it was very hurtful to, to Patty more so than, than my father at the time. But remember, my father, I think, was the first person ever elected president who had been through a divorce. And that was very, uh, uh, very disconcerting, if you will, to the people within the campaign of how all of us were going to be able to deal with it. My sister Maureen and I, Jane's uh, uh, son and daughter, and Patty and Ron, you know, Nancy's son and daughter, and how was the country going to deal with all of that and deal with us at the same time? But it didn't really come up the divorce too much to Jane Wyman. Uh, you know, it was mentioned, but it wasn't really a major media issue. Yeah. Well, the campaign worked very hard on that, Bill, to be honest with you, to make sure it wasn't really a, a big issue. There was great, great worry within the campaign. Now, what did they tell you? Did they tell you specifically, if you were asked about the divorce, how to deal with it? Well, it, not so much how to deal with it. They really tried to get us not to mention the fact that Jane Wyman, you know, was our mother, because Maureen and I were the only ones out there really campaigning. Uh, there was a point in the California primary back in 1980 when my father won, and the campaign was so worried about how it might show these blended family coming out that they actually had dad and nancy come out of the from behind the curtain in the green room with patty and ron and nancy and then maureen and myself and my, my wife colleen came from another side of the stage and kind of came in and filled in in the back and we were told to do that because they wanted us to look more like we were guests that actually family that's members. really and interesting there was, oh yeah there was two reasons for that one uh, you had Maureen, who at that time I think was 39. I was 35 years of age. So they were worried about how it would show dad being old or older. And the other side of the coin was it would remind people that he'd been married before. Okay. Now, when Patty Davis started to throw the bombs, did you guys all meet together? Was there a strategy session on how to respond to it? No. It's really basically was nobody responded to it, you know, within the family. It was kept very quiet. We all went and did our job to try and get my dad elected president of the United States. I mean, Patty was kind of persona non grata at the time, but I think we all went through that at some point. Uh, Ron went into the ballet. That caused all kinds of problems you know, within the family. How was Ron going to be seen? How were people going to interpret what it meant that he was in the campaign? It worried the campaign people. Is Ron straight? Is Ron gay? What is he? Are the Christians going to vote for him or not? There was my situation with the family. So we all went through it. But our eyes were on the prize, and the prize was getting my dad elected. So when, uh, when your sister Patty came out and criticized your father, there wasn't any strategy meeting. It was just everybody said, uh-uh, I'm not going to talk about it no matter what I'm asked. No, I think what ultimately happened was that you know, my dad got a hold of Patty and tried to sit Patty down. Um, but none of us got together and said, how are we going to deal with Patty? We just would go to another in a Q&A session, we just go to another question and not talk about the family issues. It's very tough to run for president of the United States and keep your family out of it these you days bet. because the press is after you. Well, that's true. And then this latest Giuliani thing was generated by the New York Times. They ran the article first, and then it was picked mm -hmm. up by the rest of the press. Um, but it, I don't know whether... Americans at this juncture is a lot different country now in 2007 than it was in 1980. Um, and now Rudy Giuliani is going to be attacked because of his family situation, marriages and children. There's no question he will be. Um, how would you advise him to handle it? I think he's handling it well. First of all, do what he's doing saying that family matters are in fact private. They were private with my dad. My dad never answered questions about a Patty or myself or Ron or Maureen or anybody. He left those to family issues and really Nancy kind of dealt with those issues or my mom, you know, on the other side. So I think he's doing the right thing in that way. But also sit down with the family, sit down with the campaign people and say, how are we going to handle these things? What, what are we trying to accomplish here? And, and make sure the kids know it's not about them. It really is about 
their father yeah, but their kid, might become the president. I don't know if he, he has access to his children now. That that's the interesting thing because he is estranged well, from them in some way, shape, or form. Now you deal with a lot of people on the radio who call you up. How is this playing among conservative Americans? They're Obviously, some people who look askance at people being married three times. Obviously, some people that want a kind of Norman Rockwell situation where all the kids and the dad and the mom get together and they love each other. How do you think it's going to play out? Well, I think that's probably one of his Achilles heel moments uh, within uh, his campaign is his family because he went through that messy divorce during the time he was mayor uh, of New York. Uh, some of his also his stands on gay marriage and abortion, what have you. Uh, but then it comes down to what's the number one issue? Is the number one issue the war on terror? If it is, then you have to bypass it. And I've said in my own articles and things I've said on the show, my father, everybody talks about Ronald Reagan, what Ronald Reagan would do. Here's what he would do, Bill. He would say, whoever the party chooses to be the nominee, that is the person he will support, and that is the person he is, in fact, All going right. to vote for. That's his litmus test. Michael, as always, thank you. We appreciate it. Plenty more ahead as the factor moves along this evening. Is there racism on...